Yo guys, what is up? What's going on? I'm here in my garage. Today I'm going to be showing you how to swap out your low beam headlight bulb. Super easy, it's going to take like 5 minutes, but I've got these Dio Dynamics SL1 LED headlights. You can put these in different spots if you wanted to. The size that I got here is the H11 for the low beam projector specifically. Now I picked these guys up from ProLights here in Canada. Really awesome company and what's really cool, even better, is they ship to the States, to all my friends down in the US. You can take huge advantage of our Canadian to US dollar exchange rate and get these things for like super cheap. Just head on over to their website. I'll have a link down below in the description. You can check it out, whatever the exchange rate's at. Like today is like 0.44 I think. So like for every dollar, you Americans only pay 44 cents. It's insane. All right, so with that said, let's go get these guys unboxed and then we'll pop them into my Tacoma here. So inside the box, you've got your installation instructions right up top here and then the packaging. And then there are the lights themselves. Uh, all the construction seems to be made of metal, which is really nice. There's no like cheap uh, parts in here. So as you can see here, there is the H11 plug connector. So everything about this is straight plug and play. The Tacoma's looking a bit dirty today, but that's a sign that some fun was had. Over here underneath the hood though, uh, on the passenger side, a little bit tighter fitting. You have to kind of squeeze your hand down here beside the washer fluid reservoir to unscrew that light bulb. All you have to do is twist and it will pop right out. So I'll give you a bit of a closer look there. You can see it right there. Just twist that guy and then carefully pull the entire thing out. It definitely can't get any easier than this guy's uh, small tab on the back. Pop it right out. Don't want to touch this. Be careful with this, obviously. And then taking the SL1 light, we're going to just plug it back in. Just like that. Now, you want to test it to make sure the wiring is in the right orientation. So we'll go do that quickly. Perfect, so I saw it came on. Now super important that you put these back in the correct orientation. You want them to be firing out horizontally. So the LED little diodes you can see on the sides there, we want them to be in this orientation, going back into the headlight housing that way. So keep that in mind when you put them back in and you rotate it, click it into place, make sure you're putting it in the right way. All right, so we've got the bulb in. So again, I wanna test it, make sure it's working. Perfect. I always like to keep the factory bulbs back in the same box in which I took out the bulbs I just installed. Keeps them safe and I always know where they are. But I wanted to mention something quickly about the orientation, something that's gonna help you guys, a little tip. As I mentioned when I was installing the bulb, you wanna make sure that the LED diodes are facing the sides so that they're firing output in a horizontal way. So what that means is in the truck, there, it looks like this, right? It, it's shooting out the sides. Now when you're putting it inside, you have to like put it in, click it, and then rotate it. So it's a little bit tricky because you can actually put it in like kind of a few different ways. But what I noticed is that the actual housing of the bulb itself, the orientation, the bottom of it faces the same direction in which you want it to be. So if you put it in and it, it's looking like this in, in the back of the lights there, you know it's in the incorrect position. You won't get a nice light output like that. It'll, it'll look all skewed. So keep that in mind when you're installing it. All right, so back in here, I'm gonna turn them off. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna fast forward a few hours from now until the evening time when it's a bit darker out. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna install the driver's side light yet. I'm gonna take the truck out, um, just outside the garage, aim the lights on the garage wall so you can see the difference in color temperature and light output. Cause that's really the biggest thing I'm gonna notice here and I'm really excited to see cause already looking at it, it's like a night and day difference. So, so I'll see you guys in a second, but for me it'll be quite a few hours later.
right guys, it's nighttime now. Uh, I've come out to the garage, flip the taco around, and you can really see the difference, especially in the color temperature. The halogen is so much more yellow than the LED SL1 from Diode Dynamics. It's so much whiter. It's like that perfect 5000K color temperature. All right, so I'm just gonna finish up here now this evening, swapping out the driver's side light. Obviously, I'm gonna turn them off. It's even easier on the driver's side. There's way more space here because there's no washer fluid reservoir on the driver's side. Passenger side's a little bit tighter of a, of a spot, but super easy install, guys. Anyone can do it in your garage just like I have. Total install time is probably like 10, 15 minutes per side. If you take your time, you know, make sure you get that orientation correct and you'll be really happy with the results. If you guys wanna check out these lights over on ProLights, I'll have a link down below in the description. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.